What's up, YouTube? It's the Big Kahuna back again with another video. And I haven't done a video in about a week. And I'm going to try to be more consistent. I have a video that's coming up. Should be shortly. Um, I'm trying something different. It might come out to be a stupid video. But I'm going to try it anyway. Just to try something different. Um, I know the ponies won't like it. So I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about my my subscribers my soldiers who you know subscribe to me I I just worry about them I'm not worried about the ponies but anyway and I still got part two to the video where I'm interviewing my brother the one with the master's degree in psychology um, anyway so there has been some Sony fans that come to my channel and I just said Sony fans not the dumb fan boys but anyway, they come to my channel, and sometimes I've heard them, well, seen them ask me stuff like, um, is there any pro Sony sites? Now, at the time, the only Sony sites I knew were pony sites. And I gave a few of those pony sites to them. I don't know what they did with them or whatever. But if you want a, um, there's two websites, or not two websites, I'm sorry, two YouTube channels I follow. Um... I believe that they're pro Sony and there's nothing wrong with being pro Sony. Um one of the people happens to own all three consoles. I think she prefers the PlayStation. If I'm wrong, don't kill me. But um I think she prefers the PlayStation. I always see a plan on it. But anyway, um there's nothing wrong with her preferring that over the other two. Um, usually if you have more than one console, you're going to prefer one over the other. I mean, it's very rare for somebody to go, Oh, I have all three consoles, and I love them all the exact same. Very rare. But anyway, so, there's only two channels I know of. One is 219-G-A-R-Y-I-N-E. D. And the other one, oh yeah, by the way, please go check out her videos. Like and subscribe. Even if you're an Xbox fan, please go over and check her stuff out. She has some good content. Also, Gamer2323. Now, I've been told that he was a fanboy, but the ones I've seen, the videos I've seen, I didn't see any, you know, pony dust. Shout out to Showstopper on his channel so go over and check his his channel out and if you're an xbox fan also go over and check out the channel don't make stupid com comments in the comment section like the ponies do because you don't want to be an xbox but anyway go check those channels out and on to today's video so today i wanted to talk about the whole 1080p thing people always talk about the 1080p thing i've talked about it in numerous videos because the shit just won't go away. Well, we've talked about it before. And some of my friends are always wondering, why do they make such a big deal about the 1080p? Why being, or why do they being the PlayStation 4 fanboys? And one of the reasons why I will tell you that they make a big deal about the whole 1080p. Because to them... 1080p equals our system is better than yours. 1080p equals our system is more powerful than yours. Now, that being said, you can bring up a whole slew of games that are in 1080p and a whole slew of games that are in less than 1080p and a lot of those games that are less than 1080p look better than the games that are in native 1080p. And vice versa. But for the most part, most of the games that are in less 1080p look better than the ones in 1080p. Now, granted, we do always say, and a lot of us say, that you can't really see a difference when you're looking at you know, 
a game on the XB1 in 720p, 792p, or whatever crazy resolution that they're using versus native 1080p on the PlayStation or whatever. But one thing we got to remember is that it's actually being upscaled on the XB1. Now, it might not be true native 1080p, but we don't know what it looks like in its you know in its original form which would be 792p or 722p so I have no idea exactly what it would look like in that but what I will say is that I had both I had the PlayStation 4 and the XB1 and the multiplats and I can only talk about the one multiplat that I had between the both which was um, Ghost didn't look any different on either system. It looked a smidgen clearer on the PlayStation 4. Not enough to make you go say, you know what, this one has 1080p all the time, so I'm going to get this one. Not enough to do all that. But, um, like I said, there's a whole lot of games that are in less than 1080p that looks better than the games that are in native 1080p. And I'm talking about these games are on both systems. Um... Most people couldn't tell the difference between the single player and the multiplayer on Killzone, but yet they lived and died by that when it was, oh, 1080p, Killzone, 1080p. And then when it came out that it wasn't, nobody said, what? They didn't do any of that. They still just, well, well, they said that they did this, and that's the equivalent of 1080p. Well, that's almost the same as me saying, well, upscaled is this the equivalent of 1080p. So go figure but anyway that is the reason why this issue is being brought up all the time I've also heard that you know it's basically the websites that are um, bringing this issue up um, if the fanboys wasn't yelling 1080p 1080p all the time the websites wouldn't even be putting the whole 1080p stuff up there because you you gotta remember that most of these websites that are saying this shit they're a bunch of fanboys. Now, depending on who you talk to, fanboys, um, depending on who you talk to, they're going to say either IGN is for the Microsoft side or, depending on who you talk to, they're going to say IGN is for the Sony side. So, anyway, that is the reason why they bring up 1080p so much and we know the comp uh, uh, the PC guys bring it up for the very same reason that you know why settle for this when you can get 1080p but yet like I said most people and, and of course there's always gonna be those people who are like Superman who I can tell the difference and one person even said and if anybody knows please let me know somebody told me that they had some real expensive TV called a Magnolia. The only thing I know is the movie Steel Magnolias. But other than that, um, you know, now we got people talking about your TVs. If if you can't see a difference, oh, well, maybe you got the wrong TV. So, once again, 1080p must not make a difference. If you got to have the right TV in order to see the difference, then the whole 1080p thing is a bunch of bullshit. And you can call it damage control or whatever, but I've always said I didn't care about the whole 720p, 1080p thing. So, read my lips. 720p, 1080p. Because there's always the dumb asshole that comes in here and says, Well, if you don't care about resolution, then what if it was in 480p? If it was 480p, that's not high definition. And yes, I would have a problem then. So, as long as it's high definition, which is still 720p, I have no problems. But anyway, as I always say, fanboys don't like their favorite system. They just hate yours. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.